First, RET rearrangements uh, were first discovered in lung cancer around 2011-2012. Um, and these genetic alterations are seen in other cancers as well. Um, they've also been described in a specific type of thyroid cancer. A second point that, that patients with RET rearrangement should know is that um, there are various ways to describe this genetic alteration, and many times we use them interchangeably, which can be quite confusing. So RET rearrangements are the same things as, as RET fusions, or many times we say RET positive when we're, we're referring to lung cancer. But ultimately what this means is that a, a piece of DNA has, has, has basically switched places and it has to be the, the, the right type of switch, but essentially um, it, it leads to this fusion where suddenly uh, RET no longer has the, the, the right checks and balances and it leads to RET sending uh, increased growth signals within a cell that are kind of out of control. We see these RET fusions in about 1-2% to 2 of patients with lung cancer, so they're, they're uncommon. Um, but we also know that they are mutually exclusive with some of these other genetic changes, at least at the time of initial diagnosis. So, meaning that if you have RET, you generally don't have things like EGFR, ALK, or KRAS.